Good morning, friend. So yesterday, um, you may or may not have noticed at the very end of the vlog, I pointed up at this chicken painting. The painting was actually done by my cousin, Judy. She was suffering um, from ALS and she'd always, I guess, had a passion for painting, but it became one of her therapies that she did. It was really great to keep her muscle tone going and just keep her motivated. And she turned out she had such a beautiful talent that I did not know. And she'd post all these paintings on Facebook when she was done. And when she painted that chicken painting, I was like, that was apparently a test to do one for someone else. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, Judy, that is so beautiful. Um, I have this whole thing about chickens and roosters in my kitchen because my grandmother had them and our common grandmother. And I was like, I really, if you're just going to like throw that away, I don't even think I said that. I think I just mentioned how much I liked it and suddenly it appeared in my mailbox. Um, so I was super grateful to have that. Um, and all of her paintings, you can see them on Facebook, her son has taken pictures of them and posted all the ones that he has, besides all the ones that she started using them um, to send to other ALS patients as a way to uplift them. And it was just beautiful. She was even teaching her little granddaughter to paint. Um, and yesterday morning, I was or pretty early in the morning, I w was informed that, in fact, ALS had come in and finally, um, finally, final. Um, I knew she was having trouble breathing over the last few weeks and that it was getting much worse. And in a way, we're all heartbroken because Judy was just such a bright, sparkly person. On the other hand, she was deeply suffering and it is a blessing for her. Um, and then yesterday I had this weird thing. I know, it's totally unrelated, where my dog was begging for dinner and... Uh, my friends didn't even know this. I have this weird talent for making parodies. So my dog is sitting there while I'm making dinner. And all of a sudden, I'm trying to video him looking sad at me. And here, th this is what I was going to sing in the background as he was begging. Here I am to look sad. Here I am to beg some. Here I am. I'm your best friend. I'm altogether starving. Can't you see my ribs stick out so bad? I'll never know how good that tastes. Because you won't share that food you made, do you think? Oh, and obviously that's the worship song, Here I Am. And so I thought it'd be really fun to do of this dog begging. Um, and then later in the day, I realized um, the paintings for Judy, like this chicken here, um, it was supposed to be therapy for her. But it really, it was therapy for everyone else because it really brightened our day um, to see them and all. And then now it's a remembrance of her and what beautiful gifts that our, our homes are filled with beauty because of her. Uh, and the song for my dog, I realized the begging dog really is the heart of the song. And the song as it's written really does speak to me, but I rewrote it um, from a different perspective. So instead of being here I am, it's here you are. Here I am to seek you. Here I am to beg you. Here you are. You're my best friend. I'm altogether sorry. I'm altogether starving. And here you are with gifts of bread. I'll never know the pain you feel every time I stray away. But, um, just that we are the beggars, right? Um, and that I guess that's a little Franciscan. Maybe everybody doesn't feel that way. But we are the beggars begging for grace that we don't deserve. I know the, the sins I've committed. I know the cost I should have to pay for them. And there's no way I could ever pay them. And I am so thankful about Jesus coming and offering that. He just offered it. Knew what I was going to do in my life. And he was just offered it for me, no qualms, anything. Um, and it really made, got me thinking, we're, we're doing this whole New Year's show, and in the secular New Year, you're going to go to the gym, you're going to work out more, you're going to change your diet. It's like, um, well, I guess it's I. I'm going to change my diet, I'm going to exercise more, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I change my life. 
That's not how conversion works. That's not how you get transformed in your Christian life. He does it all for us. He does it all for us. The guy on the cross, um, he actually fell off. But um, <laughs> this is my life. He, the, the crucifix, um, the, Jesus is actually behind the couch. He, I need to get a small child to go back there and grab him, and I will super glue him uh, back to the cross, which also sounds incredibly wrong. Anyway, so <laughs> I'll be right back in a second. Hi, I'm back. Sorry, I still have that little bit of a cold, um, so I didn't want to blow my nose on camera. Even though my friends enjoy my lovely bloopers. Thank you, guys. Um, so what I was saying was, it's not us that does the hard work in being transformed. Not the real hard work. It's going to be God, which is why anything in our transformation plan is going to have to involve prayer and spending time with the Lord. So while I'm really enjoying making my Zacchaeus Pinterest board, I hope you've been enjoying yours. I realized at some point that I was Zacchaeus. Um, not that I'm greedy or rich. I'm, I feel like you can tell that. But the Franciscans have a spiritual poverty that we're called to. And I've really been developing over the last couple years. And I'm just really growing in it. And... So it's been great to find other ways to bless other people and to let go of things and to put that in that board. So I started out making it for Zacchaeus, but the board ended up really speaking to me. And so I've been adding to it. If you want to, I think you can see my boards on Pinterest. Um, I think it's just my name, same as this channel, Deanna Williston. And it's been kind of, it's been kind of fun to do. So I enjoy adding to that every now and then. So if you've got any great, uh, pins for blessing others, go ahead and put that there for me. Um, you can, I think you can suggest other ones for me. I also posted yesterday a video. <clears throat> if you, if you watched the video before I added things, I added, um, some links to, uh, how to videos for Pinterest so that you could figure out how to use that. Um, so I need to make sure then that I'm not just putting ideas for projects for me to try and do. Uh, I have to include some spiritual poverty as well. So I need to have some ideas for adoration and how to spend time with the Lord. So that's like um, our books. We had, you know, like a year with the catechism, uh, the power of daily mass. Those are the kinds of books that are going to speak to you um, to help you get your life transformed, that you're going to need to call on the Lord. And I wanted to read to you a little passage from I'm going to give you a little excerpt from Jeanette. Now, it says Jeanette Bankovic. She's now Jeanette Williams from EWTN. Um, her book, Graceful Living, it's meditations to help you grow closer to God day by day. And I wanted to read the meditation for today just to give you a little sample. And it really, it, I thought it really spoke to today's lesson. So this is, it starts out with a quote from Father Frederick William Faber. Like the dawning of the morning on the mountain's golden heights. Like the breaking of the moonbeams on the gloomy clouds of night. Like a secret told by angels getting known upon the earth is the mother's expectation of Messiah's speedy birth. What is my expectation for Christmas time? And how can I unite myself to Our Lady in this regard? So we're expecting a brand new self, a brand new creation in Christ to emerge this new year. And how are we involving Our Lady? How are we looking to her as an example? Because she was literally waiting for a brand new creation of, of Christ, right? Um, and nobody knew what that would look like yet. Nobody had ever even imagined Christ in this way. And so for her, I think she can really identify with us. So if you're struggling with coming up with your resolutions and all, I would go to Our Lady, pray a rosary, which I hope you're praying every day, or... Um, if you're going, even if you're going with a standard rosary or, you know, the Franciscan crown, um, my beloved Franciscan crown. Um, so try and identify with Our Lady. And so the homework today is kind of look at your Pinterest board and consider how you can add some spiritual exercises if you haven't already and how you can unite it to Our Lady. You could even make um, one for Our Lady, a little Pinterest board on what she, how, what she would want to do waiting for the Savior to come and how that expectation lived out in her life. So that was just a more thoughtful day 
Think of how we're going to be adding God into our life because he's the one that's really going to transform us. So if you want to make a change in your spiritual life, that's going to need to come from God. All we really need to do is ask him. But absolutely. So how are we going to ask him? Where are we going to ask him? When are we going to ask him? Are we going to try and add? Maybe your church has um, adoration. If they do, they normally have a sign up where you sign up for one hour, one day a week. So a regularly scheduled hour. And maybe that's something that you'd like to, to try and do now. If you are homebound, there are lots of places that have it for your phone or your computer where you can actually live stream a holy hour. And I don't know if they have a way to sign up for those as well. Um, they very well could. So reach out. I feel like Marytown has one of those. Um, the National Shrine of St. Maximilian Colby, they might have that as well. They've been having perpetual adoration, I believe, since 1923. So that is a great place to reach out to. Um, so just give it some thought. How, how am I going to ask, how, where, why am I going to ask God to transform me? Because he's going to do the heavy lifting for us if we ask him. So let's come up with ways that we are going to incorporate him more into our life so that he can transform us for the new year. That's the deep thought for today. Um, may God bless you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's going to come up. Uh, yeah, I can't pull this off again. In a little circle. So subscribe, ring the bell, and um, check out some of our other videos that may appeal to you. God bless, friends. Have a beautiful day.